right guys <laughs> all right so I'm really 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 excited for today's video I am finally getting my hair done at a hair salon it has been so long <laughs> I can't I like yeah I can't even so I was one of those girls that like when all of this went down in like March I was at the brink of I had already pushed it too far as far as getting my hair done I needed to get it done right then and then COVID happened and then it just stretched way past the point of no return <laughs> and my hair I just I can't even begin to explain to you guys um <laughs> you know if you've seen my other videos my hair is a hot mess um by the way I know I've taken my mask off um no one is like even remotely close to me right now um but you know, I'm trying to be very careful. Um, I always wear a mask in public. I would never take it off. It's just kind of easier to like talk to you guys quickly. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to do this video because for all of the other girls out there who are in a similar situation and are really curious about what, what it's like to go to the hair salon right now and what kind of some of like the policies and the practices that are in place just to keep you and them safe. So, you know, is it hand sanitizer? Or are they using like, you know, special, I don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna see together. Um, but I thought that this would be really interesting to document. So I hope that they let me film as well. I hope that I can show you guys as much as possible. I'm probably gonna ask them. Um, but yeah, so it's just right behind me. I go to Studio 34. This one is on 56th Street. It's the first time that I've gone to this location, but my favorite guy that I go to, Tiger, just moved to this location. So, so yeah, I wanted to go wherever he went. Love what he does to my hair. So, yeah, really excited for today. Okay. <laughs> I, I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I always wanted to. Yeah. Okay. 
about here. Okay. I'm like an online seminar class. So I always wanted to, but I never had. actually has this little room set up with all these crazy lights because I think that he likes to post his clients like the work that he's done on clients on his social media and everything and he wants good lighting so he has this like photographic <laughs> photographing room I'm not sure so that was kind of cool but I think in general um yeah um okay so two things here one is just I'd say the experience of going to the hair salon right now so did I feel entirely comfortable? No, definitely not. Uh, I think at the beginning of the video I said that I assumed that hair salons right now were taking very big precautions and that when they were working on, when they were doing your hair, they couldn't just go to someone else and then come back to you, you know, without like changing equipment, changing gloves, changing whatever. Um, whereas that wasn't the case, um, in the middle of doing my hair while my hair was processing, my hairdresser <laughs> was doing someone else's hair, which I totally understand. I mean, you know, they have to make money if any hairdressers are watching. You're like, yeah, that's how we make our money. You know, time is money. I totally understand. Um, you know, I just think like, you know, in the times of COVID, it's a little bit different and just wasn't really sure how that all worked. And I just, I don't know, I felt like they could have done a little bit better. As I pointed out in the video, they definitely had fewer staff there and fewer customers in the salon at a time, so every other seat was empty, so you could only sit two seats away from someone. Same with um, the room where they shampooed your hair, you know, people could only sit in every other seat, every other seat was closed off. Yeah, they took your temperature when you walked in, so... <laughs> As soon as I walked in, I don't know if I got this on camera, but I think I got the tail end of them doing it to someone else on camera was they had like a temperature gun that they would just point at your forehead just to make sure. So they took my temperature they said I was good, <laughs> which that's good. Um, obviously that doesn't say if you have COVID or not, but um, you know, it, it is something. So I'm glad that they did that. They had hand sanitizer right when you first walked in. And then the hairdressers themselves did change their gloves and everything. So, yeah, I felt good in that respect. Obviously, everyone was wearing masks. Um, it's just the fact that you are in an enclosed space with multiple people for an extended period of time. My appointment was at 1230. I didn't leave until like 4 or 430. So I was there for a number of hours. Um, so, yeah, so that was a little uncomfortable. Um, was it worth it for the hair? Probably not. But... Yeah, um, I am glad that my <laughs> I'm back to blonde now and I, and I am feeling better. So that's it about the personal um, protective equipment and just the safety policies in place. Now about my actual hair. So this is it. Um, it's still daylight. It's about 7.30, 8 o'clock now, so it is getting darker. But basically what I got was balayage. So I like balayage in some respects because uh you know if you aren't naturally as blonde as you're going as it grows out it looks more natural and um almost like it's meant to be that way as opposed to sometimes when you get highlights and they go all the way up to the root as it grows out grows out it's a little bit more stark um 
so yeah we just went back to blonde i put i'll put the picture on the screen this is of xenia don'ts i think that's how you pronounce it or xenia i don'ts i'm not sure but i love her hair she is my like hair um she has my hair goals i love her hair and that's the this is the picture that i showed him and i don't think that it really looks like that so um yeah the like i feel like the roots are just a little bit too dark i know i said that i got balayage but i just i don't know i'm not i'm not a hundred percent sold on it and part of that or a big part of that is really just my fault it's not the hairdresser's fault it's my fault for not speaking up um yeah i guess i sort of when i sit down in the hairdresser's seat i like i lose my voice and I try to speak and say what I want, but I felt like I was talked over or just, you know, his specialty is balayage, so he wanted to do balayage um, versus I wanted the roots dyed. And I should have just <laughs> said, like, no, dye the roots. And then I also went in with some, like, clip-in hair extensions that I wanted him to dye so that when I, like, clipped them into my hair, because... My hair is so so super fun I don't know if you can probably tell on camera but it is just very 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 baby fine yeah it's it's baby fine hair and so I want hair extensions not for the length but just to add some thickness so I look like I have healthy hair as opposed to this like trashy trashy looking hair that I was born with <laughs> So I wanted him to cut and color the extensions and I don't think that he really understood what I meant. So again, that's just my fault for not really speaking up enough. Um, but then again, he is very like, you say one thing and he's like, no this, and you kind of have to be like, no this, and that's that's kind of the, the second step is, is the hardest one, I think. So um, yeah, I'm not really sure if you know, I, I love finding someone that I like and sticking with them long term, but I kind of just, when you go in and you're paying that much, you sort of just, you want to get exactly what you want to get, you know? You know, you're paying a lot of money and you should, you should get what you want. So, um, yeah, if anybody, you know, in the comments has some advice for speaking up at the salon, please let me know because I, this is not something that I have mastered and... Um, you know, I'd really like to get better at it. So yeah, um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you learned something about going to the salon right now and you kind of scoped it out if you've been considering going to the salon um, soon. This is at least my experience. And yeah, I really appreciate you guys for watching. Definitely, of course, subscribe, <laughs> leave a comment like the video um i also have my instagram and my tiktok uh so check those out for more frequent updates and then i also have my like to know it which is all of my recent clothes which actually that reminds me i wanted to show you guys i actually went to zara as well so i don't think that i can link this for you online but i just wanted to show you this sweater i got it's so cute it's like this knitted sweater with these pearl details all throughout and it's kind of cropped um this was $15 at Zara they're doing like all knitwear 15 15 dollars and 50 cents I think so definitely check it out if you have a Zara nearby or maybe a Zara online um it's a really great steal I think just in general shopping off season is a really great tip um I actually just bought a winter jacket which winter is so far away but I know as soon as it gets colder I'm gonna be so glad that I did that um I bought a jacket that was originally like $700 and I got it for like way 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 less than that so yeah um yeah shopping off season what else did I get oh yeah and then these are a pair of sandals. I thought that these were really cute. I've been loving sandals that just have a little strap over the toe as opposed to flip-flops. And I love that these had a little backing on them as well. Um, so when you walk, they don't necessarily flop. <laughs> um, and I love the fact that they're white. I feel like they would go with so many of my outfits, even this dress. Um, this dress, by the way, is from Amazon. It is so cheap. I got it in the mail. It came pretty quickly, actually, even though it said it wouldn't come until September. It came like 
a week or two later not even so yeah it's so cute it's like yellowish with these little daisy patterns on it and it's a little bit like frilly with the ruched pattern on the bust um a little tie here and it's like a little mini dress i think that it's so cute so so yeah um okay all right well thanks guys again for watching i will see you next time all right